Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the second video on thermodynamics equivalent circuit with dependent source. And here, primarily, uh, we'll be solving practice problem 10.9. So, this is the question. We have to determine thermodynamic equivalent circuit here. You can see this is the dependent source and this is independent source. So the first of all, we'll find V7N and it will be found in a normal manner. That means we will not disturb the uh, voltage source or the current source. The only thing we'll do is find the voltage here at this terminal AB. So we draw an equivalent circuit just uh, for simplifying. We replace these items with the boxes. And then we mark the two nodes as V1, V2, and also mark the current directions. And one point you have to keep in mind, we, we're trying to find v 7 n which is actually equal to V2. So if we can calculate V2, uh, we'll have v 7 n First, let's write the equation at node number one, KCL equation current entering is equal to current leaving. Replace this in terms of a voltage. So I1 is, this is the reference point 0. So 0 minus V1 divided by the impedance plus I2 is V1 minus V2 divided by the impedance and I3 is 5 ampere. Simplifying, multiplying by the LCM, both sides and I hope you can follow, pause the video and see each step. We, our aim is to separate V1 and V2 terms. So V1 term separated, V2 term separated. So this is our final equation number one for node one. Similarly, for node two, the current now, you can see all three entering, I2, I3, I4. Writing the value I2 is again V1 minus V2, 8 plus J, uh, J4. This is 5. And this is now new 0, 0 0.2 V0. But keep in mind that V0 is V1 minus V2, this voltage here. So we replace uh, V0 or V0 by V1, V2 here. Simplify multiplied by LCM, simplifying, 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 terms for V1, terms for V2, and the output. So this is our second equation. Now we have the two equations. You can solve it by any technique that you like, that is by replacement. Calculate the value of V1 from here, putting in here, you can solve, but this is very difficult. I'll, I prefer to use the matrix method. So we'll write the matrix equation, all the com uh, um, components here, the magnitudes, output here. Now this is delta. We'll write delta separately and calculate by cross multiplying this, multiply by this, and the final value will be as shown here. We'll also calculate delta 2 because we are interested to find V2. So V2 is delta 2 over delta. And for V2, we replace the second column, second column by the output. And then cross multiplying same way to find the value of delta 2. So V2 is delta 2 over delta, writing these two values and solving, we can find the answer. V2, which is actually V7, the same answer. But this is looks tedious to me, so I'll I'll tell you a very simple way. Same equation, matrix equation, but now we are assigning them variables A, B, C, D, E, and F. So our delta will be in terms of AB, A, C, B, D, cross multiplying, 
AD minus CB. Similarly, delta 2 will be AC and this we have replaced by EF. So now AF minus CE. And V2 will be delta 2 over delta. And putting these values, so this is the equation that we have to solve. And after solving, we'll get this answer in rectangular form. And this is in polar form. But how to do it, I'll show you with the help of the calculator now. So our calculator, Claire Morfridge. It has to be in complex mode, so two for complex. So now we are in complex mode. We have to enter all these values, the values that we have assigned. We have to store in the calculator first of all. So let's start minus 12, minus J2, minus 2I instead of J, and shift store. And we are assigning this value A. So this is here is A. So A is assigned. Clear. Then B is 4 minus J2. 4 minus 2I. Shift store B. B is assigned. Clear. 2.6, 2.6. Zero point eight zero point eight I and this is stored as C so shift store C so C is assigned clear and D is minus you have to keep in mind this is minus so minus bracket two point six plus 0 0.8 i bracket close shift assign uh, sorry shift store and this is d so stored as d clear then e is 200 so 200 shift store e find minus 40 minus j20 so minus 40 minus 20i and this will be assigned f so shift store f so this is assigned okay now we come to this equation this is in the form of a numerator and denominator so we select this option af minus ce and now to enter a b c d we have to press alpha each time so alpha a alpha f minus c a minus alpha c alpha e come to the denominator a d c f alpha a alpha d minus CB, alpha C, alpha B. So just verify AF minus CE, AD minus CB. We go ahead, equal sign. So this is the value. So we'll press SD to get it in the correct form. So 2.162, 2.162, and 7.02i, so J7.02. And to go into the rectangular form, shift complex r theta 3 option equal sign. And this is in root form, we press SD 7.35, 7.35, angle 72.89. Angle I have by mistake written 79, it is actually 72.89. And this is what the answer is given in the book. So V thevenin we have found. Now we find Z thevenin. To find Z thevenin, we have to deactivate all independent source. Now this is dependent source, this is independent source. 
so we have to deactivate and the current source is deactivated by uh, removing it by open cycling it so we have just opened it so this is our circuit the next step is that we apply a test voltage or test current source here we are applying a one volt test voltage source at the terminal a b and our aim is to find i s so this is the current if we already know v s so v s divided by i s will give us the impedance so the aim is to find i s so we'll solve this uh, node here kcl at node 2 i2 i4 is entering writing the value now in this case uh, i2 this whole current is i2 so we'll write 0 minus v2 0 minus v2 divided by all the impedances then i4 is 0 v2 and is now what is 0 v2 you can see from here uh, we can directly write it to be I2 multiply by the impedance. So we'll write that, uh, that I2 is I2 multiply by the impedance. Simplifying, just multiply this. And now we'll replace I2 by its voltage value. Now see here, this is I2, this is I2, this is I2, this is I2. So we'll replace this I2 by this value here. So this is our equation now and now we'll plug in the value of V2 which is actually V2 is actually Vs is actually 1 volt. So plugging in 1 volt and simplifying I hope you can follow this step adding these two further addition this is is now that we have known is we know vs therefore we'll find z7 by this formula vs is one is from here so this is the final answer and i hope you can calculate it with your calculator in complex mode so the final answer is z7 given here and v7 we have calculated earlier so I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.